Hello friends, welcome all of you. Today I thought to discuss about how to identify fertile and infertile egg or uh, when we can say an egg is fertile or infertile. Uh, how we can identify blastodis or the blastoderm on uh, yolk material. So it is very important to check the fertility and hatchability from economic point of view. So uh, let's see first how an egg becomes uh, fertile. The male breeder bird and female breeder bird both contributes equally in the reproduction. So sperms comes from male and the ovum or yolk released from the female that unite together and it forms a zygote. So the sperms enters into the female reproductive tract after mating and this sperm unite with the ovum in the infant development part of the female reproductive tract. After full development of egg you can find a blastoderm on the uh, yolk material and that indicates the fertile egg. But when uh, there is no involvement of male breeder bird, the sperm cannot unite with ohm and do not form zygote. In that case, instead of blastoderm, we can find blasto disc on the yolk. So the egg is infertile one. Therefore, remember most important thing that for an egg to be fertile, it needs to contain the genetic materials, both of hen and a rooster. If an egg contains only the genetic material of a hen, then it's infertile. Handling an egg can tell you its fertility only after 3-4 days of its incubation. So before 3-4 to four days, you can't be sure whether the egg is fertile. So only 100% sure way to check if an egg is fertile by breaking the egg. So you can identify blastodisc or blastoderm on the yolk material. So by weaving germinal disc on top of the yolk of a broken out egg, the fertility of freshly laid non-incubated egg can be determined. When the egg is not fertilized, the germinal disc is called a blastodisc. So there are four main characteristics associated with an infertile germinal disc. Number one, the germinal disc is a solid white spot on the yolk. Number two, the germinal disc is not uniform. It is somewhat circular but has a jagged or ruffled edges. Number three, the disc is about two to three mm in diameter. And number four, many vacuoles or you can say bubbles or holes may be found around the edge of the disc. Sometimes vacuoles are also present inside the disc. So in short, when you crack open an egg in the yolk, you will notice a small white dot called a blastodisc. Now when the egg is fertilized, the germinal disc is called a blastoderm instead of blastodisc. So there are four main characteristics associated with the fertile germinal disc that is related to the blastoderm. So number one, the germinal disc is faint. It is not a solid white spot. The germinal disc consists of a faint white ring which may have a solid white spot in the center of the ring. Number two, the germinal disc is about two to three times larger that is five to nine mm than the infertile germinal disc. Number three, usually there are no vacuoles visible in the center of the ring. A few vacuoles may be present on the edge of the ring. Number four, the edge of the germinal disc is very smooth and uniform. So ring is predominantly circular with no jagged edges. So in short, a fertile egg will have a circle ring with a dot in the middle of it and that is called as a bullseye. A small white dot will have a bullseye type ring around it which is called as a blastoderm. In another way, a blastoderm looks like a donut. So by this way, you can differentiate between the blastodisc and the blastoderm. In conclusion, you can say when there is a blastodisc on the yolk material, you can say it is infertile egg. And when there is a blastoderm on the yolk material, you can say that egg is a 
फर्टाइल थैंक यू